The county's largest school district, San Diego Unified, will be offering in-person instruction to all of its students starting on Monday. But teachers, they are already on campuses. They are getting ready for the big day. In this Learning Curve report, News 8's Shannon Handy has more on the preparations underway and how many students are expected back. Shannon? Stephen Marcella, it's been 13 months since most students have been inside a classroom. One teacher I spoke with admits she's nervous, but ready to see her kids face to face. I am back on campus officially. This is our first week back. For Hickman Elementary Kindergarten teacher Sherilyn Fidel, she's excited to be inside her classroom after spending more than a year teaching from home. We just really want to be with the kids, and so to have that opportunity, I feel like I'm counting down the days. All San Diego Unified teachers return to campuses Monday to prepare for students coming back April 12th. So right when you open up, there's a little reminder here. And here's my room. Inside Sherilyn's room, you'll notice 19 desks spread apart, as well as a big monitor to accommodate the six students who chose to continue with virtual learning. We actually have to um, teach our kids online and in person at the same time for part of the day. District-wide, of the 64% of families who filled out a recent survey, 73% said they wanted to return in-person learning, while 27% prefer online only. Based on how many kids will be returning to each school, some will have the opportunity to be on campus four days a week. For others, it could be less. The whole question is how much uh, space is there in our classrooms? So if you have large numbers of students who are returning, um, you know, that may, you know, leave the school at two days a week. Um, if you have fewer students who are returning, you know, that's probably what will get us to four days a week. Board President Richard Barrera says based on survey results, schools in areas where the virus has spread more rapidly will see fewer students coming back. In terms of safety measures, the district is providing free voluntary COVID tests on each campus. That's in addition to the millions of dollars spent on things like PPE and air filtration system upgrades. If parents, you know, are wondering if it's going to be safe to come back, the answer is yes. Back at Hickman Elementary, Cheryl Fidel says staff has been meeting daily to go over all the new protocols. While safety is a priority for her, so is ensuring every student, whether they return or not, feels welcome. One of our biggest things at our school is making sure that the families that choose to stay online still feel a part of the class. Starting today, parents should be getting information from their child's school about things like pick up and drop off protocols, as well as how many days of in-person learning are available.